camera in. So I was messing with it and uh, I may have to return it. So anyway, good morning, good morning. Let's see how I am showing up to you guys. Rebounder, standing core, the first part of class. Oh, I'm, okay, I'm a little off here. Oh, okay, so you're gonna want uh, a deflated ball if you have one. So let me get in the picture here. So go ahead, have a deflated ball if you can. And uh, yeah, I will fix that. So get a deflated ball if you have one. I have my fives, I have one heavy weight, a 10, and I have my eight pound weights. It's gonna be rebounder, a standing core. So just basic bouncing. You can use your stability bar, use whatever you want. Um, and then the, that's the first part, 30 minutes of class. And then the second 30 minutes of class is going to be barefoot uh, sculpt. So we're, when the barefoot sculpts, we're gonna use our ankle weights, we're gonna use the deflated ball, and we're gonna use light hand weights, but we will not be using the rebounder for the second 30 minutes of class. All right, so for right now, just grab. Um, so go ahead and grab, you guys. Okay, let me, okay, now I'm recording. I'm just getting everything set up for you guys and just fixing my camera just a little bit to make it a little more even. Let's see, so good morning, everyone. So rebounder, first part of class, is that rebounder? Okay, that looks better. I'm just gonna stick with that. I'm not gonna mess with it too much. Okay, let me say good morning. So you got first part of class, Good morning, Laura, Marsha. I didn't think I'd have too many people today because it is, um, okay, yeah. So can you guys, before I begin, can you guys hear me? Is my music coming in? Okay, I know my music is gonna be louder now. So can you guys, before I begin, good morning, Destiny. So can you all hear me? That's all I need to know. And then we're gonna start class. So somebody gave me a comment that um, just comment that you can hear me and you can't see me. Okay, we got people on guys, so I've literally got to get us started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's static. Uh, I don't know why it's static because I'm coming in pretty good here. Other than Marsha, can, every, can everybody else see me just fine? Can you hear me just fine? Laura, it's static. Oh, you mean my, oh, you mean my, oh, my music is low. Okay, got it. Static is bad. Okay, hold on, guys. Hold on. Oh. Hold on, guys. Okay, I've got to get on here and hear it because I'm not hearing, I'm not hearing any static. It's sounding good on my end. Okay, it's, it's sounding good on my end. Okay, good. Yeah, because usually, okay, it's gone. Okay, I did something. Good, good. Oh, shoot, guys. We don't want that loud. Okay, are you guys ready? Okay, it's gone now. Good, guys. Okay, let's make sure I'm in here. You know what? Oh, because now I messed with Okay, so this should be good right here. Now I mess with my camera just a little bit. Everything is so Everything is so persnickety. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, I am not. <laughs> okay.
over again. We gon' break up, then we make up. Act like we're gonna be friends. There's the fire, take me higher. All right, let's go. Good morning, everyone. We're starting a little late, but let's go ahead, grab that ball, put it in between our legs right now. Let's start. Put that ball in between your legs right now. All right, so I'm gonna rock and roll with this. Hello, welcome to 30 Minutes Rebounding, and I gotta go ahead for my filming, and I gotta take my rebounder all the way back here. All right, good morning. Welcome to 30 Minutes Rebounding and Standing Core. Make sure you have a set of light weights by your side and medium. So right now, we're just starting with that beautiful health bounce. So let's talk about the health bounce. We have three minutes of health bouncing. We're waking up our body. We're waking up our connective tissue, the lymphatic system. We're getting that blood flow into that digestive system. Yeah, it's really good. So let's talk about proper form. Make sure your shoulders are set back, down and away from your ears. Your hip, knees, ankles and toes are pointing forward. You're merely holding this ball, small deflated ball, in between your thighs to help maintain proper form. So we're focusing on pressing down into the mat, all right? You're focusing on pressing down into the mat. You have a slight bend in your knee. You're not rolling onto the outside of your foot, and you're not rolling to the inside of your foot. You have a nice neutral foot placement. So you're not rolling too far back on your heels, and you're not rolling too far forward on your toes. You're balancing your body weight between that right and left leg. Let's start some shoulder rolls back. Now let me tell you something else, you guys. We are all on different rebounders, some spring-loaded, some bungee style. Some bungees are stronger, some bungees are softer. My bounce may not look like your bounce. So each exercise I do will be 60 seconds, one minute. Why do I do that? Because I'm teaching rebounding to everybody, not just the people who own Bellicons, not just to the people who own jump sports or cellicizers. This workout is for all rebounders. So I need you to know my bounce may not look like your bounce. And that's due to the different style of rebounders we have. All right, roll it forward. So we're just warming it up with the health bounce. I always start every single rebounding workout with a beautiful health bounce, you guys. Let's do some chest press. Are you ready? Couple more. Now what we're gonna do is start taking our feet off the rebounder. You can have your hands on your hips. Now, if you're brand new to rebounding, hold on to the stability bar. Do that health bounce, okay? So each exercise is 60 seconds. So right now we're just merely jumping our feet off the rebounder. It's a little mini bounce. Woo. Let's go. Oh, happy rebounding day, you guys. Such a beautiful day to rebound. Now, when you land, you're not rolling out with your foot, and you're not rolling too far forward in. We call this inversion, eversion, supination, pronation. We don't want that. Woo! Now what we're gonna do is jump forward and back. So from the side, 
We're holding that little ball in between our thighs. It helps track the hip, knees, toes, and ankles forward. We're kind of still warming up. So again, decrease that forward bounce and that backward bounce. If you're not ready to do what I'm doing, absolutely make this your workout. Yeah. Don't worry, we're gonna add those hands in just a minute. Just wanna get that body super warm. Woo! Beautiful. Right here. Now let's go side to side. Skiing side to side, soft bend in your knee. You have a little slight, very slight forward flexion of the hips. Shoulders set back, down and away from your ears. Just jumping that side to side now. Right here. Hands are on our hips. Not rolling onto the outside of the foot or the inside of your foot. A good tip, if you do have ankle, feet, back, hip, or knee issues, wear a good pair of supportive shoes when you're jumping. That may help as well. Another tip, decrease your range of motion and go at your pace. Bounce in the center. Now we're gonna focus on the little press down into the mat. So let's press it down into the mat. So this is a time I do want you to press your heels into the mat. Whoo! Press your heels into the mat. Are you ready? Get the ball off. Keep pressing your heels into the mat. Now this is a time we're gonna get into those arms. We're gonna ski, right arm, right leg, right here. So we're getting into the bigger movement patterns right here. Your feet are on a railroad track. Let me show you from the side. Press those arms up and back. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. So your legs are on a railroad track, your feet. Soft bend in the knee. Slight forward flexion. Really drive the arms. Drive those arms. You get a greater caloric output when you're using those arms and your legs at the same time. Let's go into a jack. Come on. Focus on the press down from the side. Push. Press down into the mat. Big arm movement. Let's go, push it, push it. You got 30 minutes to get in here. Get that rebounding workout done. Breathe it through. Your timing, your pace. Now again, let me tell you some tips. If you're getting tired, focus on the leg movement only. You can place your hands on your hips. Yeah? Come on. All right, we're gonna run into high knees from the side. Visualize you're bringing your knees up to belly button height. Beautiful running arms. Let's go. From the side, my chest is tall and proud. Shoulders set back, down and away from my ears. Push it through. Come on. Core is coming up next, guys.
All right, grab those light ham weights you have. Woo, heart rate's high. I'm grabbing my fives. Okay, my feet are wide. Right here, agitation. My knees are tracking in the same direction as my toes. Beautiful agitation right here. We're in that core. Breathe it through. I know we're sweating. So you wanna think that right hip and that left hip is agitating side to side. So right hip, left hip, it's not about your upper body swinging. It's about that agitation move in through your center. Come on. Let's go. Beautiful smile on your face. You guys, we are rebounding. How awesome is that? We have all different rebounders, but we're a, we are a world community of rebounding peeps that love our rebounder. And we love to rebound in our way. That's why I'm here. Yeah? Again, it doesn't matter what rebounder you have. The beautiful part is we are all literally rebounding. All of us. We live all around the world too, right? Comment below after class. Let me know where do you live in the world. Greetings from the beautiful state of Tennessee, everyone. All right, now you're gonna just shave the back of your legs. Again, you get to go as quick or as as you choose to go. So your palms are facing in towards your butt cheek. Soft bend in the knee. Your knees are tracking in the same direction as the toes. And you're shaving the back of your thigh and the back of your butt cheek with your palms facing you or facing those butt cheeks. Right here. Shoulders set back, down and away from your ears. That chest is open. We are not rounding through the shoulders, you guys. If you're rounding through the shoulders, you better drop that weight. I got five pounds in my hands, right here. Shave the backside of that butt cheek, the backside of your thigh. Beautiful job. Now you're gonna say, shave the side of your thigh. Shave the side of your thigh, right here. Save the side, shave the side. I want those shoulders set back, down and away from your ears. All right, let's put that weight down. Let's grab just one light weight. Can you grab one light weight for me? Bounce in the center, bounce in the center. One light weight. You don't have to have any weight in your hand. Whew. Now I want you to just hold. I have a five pound in my hand. We're gonna hold it and I'm gonna ski, watch me. Bounce, 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 bounce as you turn. Come with me, bounce. Do a couple bounces, three and turn. So a couple bounces, really pressing into the mat. That weight stays forward. Go. It's a side ski bounce. So you do a couple bounces and turn. Couple bounces and turn. Today I am on my jump sport 550 Pro. It's my favorite rebounder out of all of them. You got it. Bounce center, now ski. One weight, you can press it up and down from the side. Right here, let's go. From the side. Again, beginners, you don't have to have any weight. You can have your hands on your hips. That weight is just gonna really Increase our caloric output because we're using those arms and legs at the same time. Push it through. Breathe it through, breathe it through. I have a timer in front of me. 
So each exercise I give you is 60 seconds. Let's go. Now let's go out and in. I want you to push out. Right here. Push the weight out. As you jack the feet out and in. Pressing. Out and in. Come on. Now again, option. Getting tired, focus on the feet only. Or if you're getting tired, focus on the press out only. You have options. You can always modify. I do expect you to listen to your body at all times. I am only here to guide you. I do not live with your body. You do. Whoo! One heavy weight. One heavy weight. Standing core. Standing core. Hand behind your head. I got a 10 in my hand. Right here. To the side. Working a lot of internal and external obliques today. Standing. Yeah. Right in through here. Right in through those love handles. We're working it. 30 more seconds here. I want that right shoulder back. Soft bend in your knees. Knees are tracking in the same alignment as those toes. Slight soft bend in your knee. Right shoulder touching that back wall. Right chest is open. Yeah? And those shoulders are melted away from your ears. Reach. It's like shaving, but I've added an element a little more difficult by that right hand coming behind your head. Now let's switch. I want that left elbow nice and open. That left shoulder blade is touching the back of the wall as a visual. So you're sliding that left shoulder blade on that back wall. Of course, that's a visual, but I want that visual for you. Come on, let's go. Beautiful, right here. Feel right here. Oh, feel those love handles melting away. Why do we move our body? So we can stay healthy. So we can do movements of everyday living. So we can live an independent life. So we can strengthen our heart. So we can strengthen our muscles for bone health. So we help prevent disease within our body, yeah? Body movement is so important. Always do body movement your way. Grab the one weight. We're gonna go right hip, left hip. So it's a rotation, but I want that weight to touch the left hip, right hip. I want the front of the weight to touch your hip. It's kind of like agitation. Soft bend in your knees, chest nice and open, shoulders set back, down, and away from your ears. We're on an unstable surface, so we're really having to work the core and balance a little more. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get hit back into the bouncing. Now, I'm really take the bouncing up in this track. If you don't like it, you're gonna modify right here in this low bounce or health bounce. It's up to you. Now watch me. Let's go. You can have your hands on your hips. Air jacks. If you don't like air jacks, you can do jacks like this. You can do a health bounce. You can do whatever you want. Taking it up just a little more because we can, because we're warm. Yeah? You have a natural core engagement. You can feel your pelvic floor naturally engaging as you do these air jacks. Beautiful, guys. Your way, your workout, that's what counts. Body movement for life, right? We're in this for life, moving our body for life. 
So you've always, at all times, got to listen to your body. Now, I'm going to jack with a tightrope right here. It's a tightrope jack. 60 seconds, your timing, your workout. You can go quicker, you can go slower. Yeah. Pressing down into the mat, letting that G force work. So the work, so you know, is in the press down, not the lift. It is always in that press down. Push it through. Your timing, guys. You know you got 60 seconds. Each move. Bounce in the center. Now we're going to just do a half turn. Bounce a couple. Half turn. Now if that makes you dizzy, you're going to bounce. Tuck jump. Bounce in the center. Tuck jump. Or you get to go side. Side. Now I know some of you get dizzy. So look. Couple bounces, tuck jump. You can stay center, tuck jump. Taking those knees up, where is the work? It is in that press down, right? The work is always in that press down. You're not rolling on the outside of your foot. You're not rolling on the inside of your foot. Right and left leg, evenly distribute the weight. Don't put more weight on that right side of your body than the left. Bounce center. Everyone tuck jump. Let's tuck jump. Or bounce, or health bounce. Focus on driving the knees up towards the belly button. Shoulders step back, down and away from your ears. One weight. I got a heavy weight. Now, we're gonna have that left foot forward, right foot back. We're gonna have that weight on that right hip. Cross diagonal pattern. Wood chop, we're gonna go over the left. Wood chop, down, up, down. Two more. Wood chop up, this is core. Down, up, quicker, here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, eight, seven. Beautiful wood chop. Six, five. I got one weight in my hand. I got a 10 pound in my hand. We're going to quickly take that right leg forward. Let's wood chop up two by two. Up. Two, three more. So you take it up and you wood chop down. Two more, standing core, up, down. One more, 16 singles. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more, here we go. Eight, seven, six, four more, four more, and we're gonna cyclone. You're gonna say, Ange, what is that? I'm gonna show you. Over your head, down, and over the back of your head. Cyclone. Now your knees are tracking in the same direction as the toes. Your timing on this one, your timing, how quick or how slow you cyclone that weight over your head, the back of your head. Modify if you have shoulder issues, of course modify. Reverse the cyclone. Again, does not matter how quick or how slow. Take it over your head, back. Let's go. 
beautiful standing core balance coordination here, guys. All right, I want that weight in front. We're gonna take it and we're gonna take, woo, major balance. Let's finish. Knee, dumbbell pull down for the core. Yeah, major, major balance here. We're gonna finish. We have one more bounce track and we are done. Your timing, guys. You're pulling that dumbbell down, bringing the knee up, and you're offsetting, taking that weight, putting it back, and bouncing in the center. Last song. Oh, breathe it through. Right now, you're either in a health bounce or your feet are coming off the mat. Yeah? You're going to get that left hand up, left elbow up. We're going to cross the midline of our body. It's standing cool, and it's cardio rebounder health. Okay, let's go. Your timing, one minute, 60 seconds. I want that left elbow to cross the line of your body. That's where we get that standing core work in. Shoulder is the same height as your elbow. Come on, push, go as quick as you can. Actually, I think we have one more song after this. Come on, push. I want that right knee to cross the middle of your body. It's a diagonal knee. Bounce, get that right elbow up. Let's go, left knee. 60 seconds. Drive it in. That knee and elbow are touching. Whew. Yeah. Cardiovascular health, man. We're getting our heart really strong. So women, if any of you out there are in perimenopause or menopause, I want you to know that cardio, vascular endurance and strength training really helps us get through perimenopause and menopause. It's great for the body. As we're going through this, change of life. It reduces some of the symptoms that we have naturally. Bounce, go into heels, interlace your fingers, pull those arms down with beautiful fast heels. Right here, you're focusing on that press down. Can you focus on that press down? Heels pressing down into the mat. Let's go. One more standing core track. And we're done. So we were standing the whole time on our rebounders today. Bounce center. We're going to put our right foot in the center. We're going to let that left foot dangle. We're going to work balance and core. Now you have a big, huge bus wheel. Drive that huge bus wheel right here. Woo! Drive that huge bus wheel to the left. As you drive the huge bus wheel to the left, your knee comes up. Let's go, 60 seconds each exercise. This is it, you guys. Drive that huge bus wheel, drive it. Let's go. Standing core and balance. Push it through. Beautiful smile on your face. Hold on to a stabilizing bar if you need to. Woo, feel those internal, external obliques are also known as those love handles. Melting away, 
working the core. All right, I want you to shake it out really quick. Put that left foot in the center, right foot up, grab that big steering wheel, soft bend in the left knee. Let's go. Woo! One side may feel easier than that other side. You're trying to re-educate and rebalance all the muscles of your body. That's why I love unilateral training, where you work one side of the body at a time. You can't be stronger on one side and weaker on another. That creates muscle imbalance. That can then lead to injuries. Yeah? We don't want that. I always provide comprehensive workouts that always have components of cardio, strength, core, functional movements for everyday living. Balance, coordination, proprioception. You get phenomenal changes if you work out with me. Yeah? I know. Woo! All right, interlace your fingers. Figure sideways eight. Soft bend in your knees. You're, you're in a wide stance. So all you're doing is interlacing those fingers. Sideways number eight, draw it. You're gonna feel that core come with you. It's beautiful standing core work with this standing rotation in through the core. So draw a sideways number eight. Yeah, soft bend in the knee, shoulders set back down and away from your ears. Keep your fingers interlaced. Now circle your hips right to left. Let's go right here. So visualize your right and left shoulder are touching the back wall. Your back elbows are super glued to the wall. That chest is open. Now reverse the circle. In through the hips, in through the hips. Come center, deep breath in. And exhale, cool down and stretch if you're done or put the weight, put your rebounder away. A set of light hand weights and ankle weights in a mat. I burned 249 calories. If you're coming on for the second part of class, let's get ready. If you've been with me for the first part, put your equipment away right now. You got like two minutes to recover. Grab those ankle weights. If you're new to class, ankle weights, a deflated ball, your mat, set of light hand weights. So I'm gonna pick my fives. If you're with me and we just finished class, get that equipment put away, please. Grab some water. Make sure you grab some water though for me. If you're just coming into class, you're gonna get a warm up. So welcome. If you're just coming for the second part of class. Okay, don't worry. You have a minute and a half, guys. Those who've been with me, a minute and a half. Get those ankle weights. We're gonna do a full 30 minute barefoot sculpt. Now, I'm already gonna tell you, grab a chair. If you need a chair for balance, a chair. I'm going to be using my wall and I'll be using a bar for my balance today. You can use a wall, you can use a chair, you can use a stoop, you can use your rebounder, but use something for stability. Can you do that for me? All right, we got 17 people on. All right, here we go. We're gonna start the second part of class. All right, let me set my timer again. All right, I'll switch the music out. All right, guys. Here we go. Welcome to 30 minute barefoot sculpt. Have your ankle weights, deflated ball mat, and a set of light hand weights. Let's begin with some beautiful hip rolls. Oh yeah, I'm gonna warm us up and through our joints. Today's a beautiful workout, barefoot. Woo, I cut my foot a little bit. And that's, woo, that's what I'm feeling. Ouchie, I actually cut it. right here oh beautiful hip rolls we're just warming it up how are you doing today tap the toes let's reach our arms across our body 
Oh, it feels so good. And y'all know my name is Angie. Okay, let's go chest level, chest height. Push the doorway right here. 30 minutes of a beautiful barefoot sculpt today using those ankle weights, light hand weights, a mat and a ball. Press it up. I want you to cross your arms. So I want that right hip, left hip to come with you. You got it. Let's do some hip rolls. Oh, yeah. You want to make sure you have a soft bend in your knee. Shoulders step back down and away from your ears. You got to get really warm, you guys. And through that midsection. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Reverse those hip rolls. Oh, these are my favorite exercise. I do these on my own in my own workouts every time. Beautiful way to warm up in through that midsection. We're gonna do a little squat, down and up. Superficial squat, down. Just sit back in your heels. We're getting that blood pumping in through the quads, hamstrings, and glutes. Yeah? Woo! Sit it back in your heels. Now we're gonna squat right knee, squat left knee. Squat. Let's go. You guys gotta be really super warm. We're gonna curtsy that right foot back. Pulse, one, two, three, come up. Pulse, curtsy. Woo, that, one, two, three, one, two, keep that curtsy, keep that curtsy, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one more, one more, all right, lunge right leg back, one, two, three, left leg, one, just warming it up everywhere, you guys. So let's lift those arms, lower those arms, lift and lower right here. Beautiful warm up, big movements for our body, right? Two more, two more. And we're gonna go to the side. You're gonna hit the right side, you're gonna pulse three. One, two, three, left, one, two, Three, love those three pulses. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four more, four more. One, two, three. Oh, elongate. Two more. Beautiful. Now you're gonna kick it. Right leg front, back, front, down, left leg, yeah, balance. Warming it up, front, back, front. Balance today, major core work. Again, kick it front, back, front. Front, back, whoo, front. Two more, front, back, right off the bat, I'm challenging you. Mini superficial squat. Now raise, elbow, fingertips, elbow, fingertips. Now if you can, go deeper, deeper, deeper. See if we can go all the way to the four. Four count, four, three, two. How deep can we go? How flexible are we in through our hips? Again, you're warmed up enough. Okay, you're gonna drive the elbow to the top of the thigh. Here we go. Just two more. Put the ankle weights on right now. If you want to cushion your feet with a mat, you can do that. One or two, grab one weight. You can hold on to a wall. You can hold on to a chair. You can challenge your balance. You can hold on to nothing. Do here, I'll hold on to a wall. We're gonna out, 
As we lift the leg out, we're gonna do a side fly. Now another thing you can do is hold on to a pole. Your call, outside leg, arm, you got 16. Here we go. One, woo, two, three, four, five. Working rear delt, working hamstring and glutes. Working balance. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, no arms, just the legs. Eight, seven, six, five, heel to the ceiling, four, drive the heel up, soft bend in that supporting leg, last eight, we'll go to the other side. Eight, heel up, drive the heel to the ceiling, pop your head out of a turtle shell, whoo! Balance challenge major. Feeling that, guys? You're gonna shake it out, quick break. Now, place your hand weight in your other hand. Let's not be doing the same leg. So as we lift, we're doing a rear delt unilateral fly. 16, ready, go. Other leg, one, two, three. Heel drive to the ceiling. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more, just like this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. No arms, only legs. One for 16. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Last eight, you get a break for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Shake it off. Ouchie, mama. Why are we doing this? You are moving your body in brand new ways. Why are you moving your body? Because you need to challenge your body. Watch me. Come with me, insole. One, and an overhead raise. Lift, so you're kicking that soccer ball. Kick that soccer ball. Kick that soccer ball. Challenge your body in order for it to grow. Eight more. Eight, are you smiling? You are so blessed you can move your body. Yeah, oh yeah. You're gonna kick that soccer ball. Kick that soccer ball. No arms, just kick for 16. Kick that soccer ball with your heel. Kick, working your hip adductor muscles. Kick, kick. Yeah, you're working balance. Hold on to a chair, a wall. A bar, you got eight more. Oh, kick that ball. Oh, how about you give me four more? I'll give you a little break. You know we gotta hit that other side, right? Unilateral training, you guys. I wanna balance out that right and left side. All right, whatever you wanna hold on to, why don't you practice a kick? How does that feel? It's your heel kicking that soccer ball. Palm faces in. When you kick that soccer ball, you're gonna do that overhead press for your shoulder. 16 times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, come on. Four, three, two, kick the soccer ball, 16, no arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. Woo! Those hip adductors are screaming. Last eight. Eight. Seven. Yeah, I'm counting, you guys. I know how to count. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Woo! Ouchie mama. Okay, put the weight in your left hand. Watch me. You're gonna point your toe. Now your palm is gonna face away. When we point our toe and kick out, we're gonna lift. Here we go, 16. One, two, three, four. Let me show you from the side. Five, six, seven, eight more. Here we go. Eight, seven, six. Point the toe. Four more, and then just the legs. Four, three, two, no arms, just the legs for 16. One, working those quads. Yeah. Come on, work the quads. That chest is tall and proud. Shoulders set back down, away from your ears. You got eight more. Here we go. Eight, seven. Oh, burning. Come on, get the knee up. Four more. I know the quads are burning. Four. Don't slouch. Two more. You're going to get one massive break. Woo! Yeah! Put the weight in your right hand. Right leg. Left hand is holding onto a chair, a wall, a bar, nothing, whatever. All right, are you ready? Palm faces away. I'll start in the front. Let's go, 16. One. Two, go from the side. Three, four, palm faces away. Five, six, seven, eight more. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, balance big time. Four more, and it's just the legs. Four, three, two, ouchie mama, leg time. Eight, woo! Seven, six, point the toe. Point the toe, point the toe. Quad burn. Shoulders step back down and away from your ears. Point the toe. Eight more. Oh, my knee is dropping. Eight. Yeah, my quads are burning. Oh, come on, come on. Four more, we can do it. Get the knee up. Four. Point the toe, strong point. Oh. Break. Ouchie mama. Put the weight in your right hand. Yeah? I think we're going to be all standing today. Yeah? So I'm going to make the thumbnail all standing. Can you watch me? Looks like this. Actually, I want you to drive your elbow touching your back butt cheek. Elbow can either touch the side or your back butt cheek. Your palm faces in, soft bend in the elbow, 16. Here we go. One, two, three, palm faces in. Four, five, six, seven, eight more with our hand weights. Eight, seven, beautiful sculpt, beautiful sculpt. Yeah, yeah feels so delightful. Woo, we are strength training. Just the legs. One, two, you can put your hand on your hip. Three, four, five, six. Oh, today I'm counting just nice and right. Eight more. Four more, you get a break. What you do on one side? Yeah, and you do on that other side. Oh, shake it out. Remember, palm faces in towards your body. You can touch your hip abductors or your butt cheeks. Are you ready? 16, here we go. One, two, Three, four, 
five, six, seven. You got eight more and it's all about the legs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, just the legs, just the legs. One, two, three, four, five, woo! Six, soft bend in that stabilizing leg. Shoulder set back, eight more. Eight, seven, six. How about four more for me? Four, three, Two, you're gonna have a break. Place your hand weight in that left hand. You're gonna watch me. Just watch me. I'm gonna curve the knee in, out, in, out. Now that weight comes with you. Come with me, we got 16. One, two, knee in and out. Three, four, five, major balance challenge. Six, working that hip stability. Working in through that shoulder as well. I'm doing internal, external rotation. So that knee is driving in, out, in, out, in, out, in and out. Two more sets with the arms and legs. Eight, seven, feel that in through the hips. Yeah, beautiful exercise for hip strengthening and shoulder strengthening as well. So the weights come in and out, woo! Yeah, one more set of eight. Eight, seven, six, drive the knee in and out. Four more, here we go. Four, three, two, one. Major hip mobility strengthening, stabilizing muscles. You're doing internal, external rotation in through that shoulder. Really good for you, that rotator cuff. Okay, we're gonna start with the knee in and out. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One side may be easier. Six, one side you may be less coordinated. Seven, three more sets of eight. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. It's a knee that drives you. It's a knee. Two more sets of eight. Eight, seven, four more in this set. I want the knee to drive in and out. Do those knee drives in and out. Last eight, last eight. Eight, can you count it? Seven, I'm more restricted on this side. Where you're restricted, mobility restricted, you're gonna feel it. You know, you gotta work on the mobility in that area if it doesn't wanna go with you. Woo, shake it out. So this side, I know I'm more restricted. Okay, keep, the, keep your hand. We're gonna, we're gonna cross and up. So the weight's gonna touch. Top of the kneecap. One, two, three, four. Soft bend in the elbow. Five, six, seven, eight. We're going for 12. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. Put the bar in your other hand, whatever you're holding, weight. So you're gonna cross down. Dumbbell touches the top of the knees. Kick that right leg. Here we go. One. We gotta do 12. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. You're gonna put everything away. You're gonna balance challenge. Come up on your toes. Balance challenge. Come up on your toes. 
come up on your toes. We're not holding onto anything. This is our super balanced challenge burner right here. This is it. And then we're gonna go into stretching. I think we may have one more song, but it's gonna be super balanced challenge sculpt time. If we got one more song. I want you up on your toes. I want you up on your toes. Come on. Burner challenge. Right here, up on your toes. Chest, tall and proud, shoulders set back, down and away from your ears. Let's strengthen in through the ankles, in through the feet. Now let's walk it right to left, toe walk. High heel walk, high heel walk. Look, shoulders are set back down and away from my ears. I am not rounding forward. Even though your body wants you to round forward, you're not. Toe, high heel walk, toe, high heel walk. Toe, high heel walk. Your glutes, your hands, your calves. Right now I'm asking a lot of your back extensors. I want that chest tall and proud. Pop your head out of that turtle shell, baby. Let's go for four and three and two. Come down on your heels. Ouchie mama, right? Grab your mat. Woo! Let's see if it's gonna cool us down. Oh, I knew we had one more song. So we have our mat. We're gonna go ahead and take it down. I said it's gonna be all standing, but we're not. We're gonna do some glute bridges. Let's go ahead and lift that outside leg glute bridge. Here we go. One, got 16. Two, this is your last song. Three, four, last track. Five, six, strengthening the glutes, the hamstrings, that low back, eight more, eight, seven. Unilateral training, you guys. Four more, we pick up the back leg. Four, three, two. Can you pick up the back leg, drop the front leg? Eight, seven, you got 16. Up and down, really drive through that foot that's on the ground. Let that glute bite. Eight more, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I want both feet in the air. We're gonna go out and in, out, in. Rest that upper body on the mat, out, in. Soften in the knee, just out and in. Out, in, eight more, just like this. Eight, seven, six, come on, four, three, two. Now watch me. We're gonna go down, two, around, up. Zipper down, go around and up. Hip mobility, hip stability. Strengthening in through the hips. Down for two, around and up. Down, two, around and up. A little core as you drop the legs. That lower core engages. Down, two, around and up. Let's reverse, go out, around and up. Out, around, zip up. Beautiful hip strengthening, zip it up. So you go out, around, zip it up. Out, around, zip it up. Beautiful lower core work, out. Zip it up, soften in the knee. Out, around, zip it up. Beautiful challenge for the hip strength, for the low core. Let's reverse, zip it down. Zip it down for two, around up, seven more. Down for two, and around. Zip it down, come out and around. Beautiful, hip strengthening, four more. I know you're feeling it, soft bend in the knee. Two more. Just come down to 45 degrees. Let's reverse for eight, we're moving on. 
out and around, in, out and around, in. Decrease that range of motion if this is becoming too challenging. Out and around, zip it up, four more. Out and around, working that core, working that hip strength, all at one time. Beautiful job, you guys. One more. Woo, just circle. Your feet are super glued together. I want a beautiful circle. As fast or as slow as you want, soften in the knees. Circle. Draw the perfect circle to the ceiling. I'm working on hip mobility, hip strengthening. You're working a little bit of back strengthening. You feel that low core engagement. A lot of work going on in through that hip region and that core region. I want you to reverse. Soften in the knee. Move through that wet cement. Draw the perfect circle to the ceiling. Your heels and big toes are super glued. Feel that full rotational circle. Reverse. A real beautiful full rotation circle with your heels super glued, your big toes super glued. Beautiful, perfect circle moving through wet cement and reverse. This is it. Reverse that perfect, beautiful circle moving through that wet cement. Beautiful, big, 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 big circle. All right, legs down and in, finish us out. Final burn. We get a beautiful stretch after this. Finish up. Music is gonna change. All right, take those ankle weights off. Woo! Wow, beautiful, 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 beautiful workout today. Woo! Ha! Huh. All right, you know me, man. I'm all about that hip mobility. Let's take that right leg forward, left leg back. Woo! Let's just see what we got. We did a lot of work today. I'm just going to come from the side. Beautiful stretch time. Let's just enjoy this hip stretch. All right, let's take it deeper. Fingertips to the ceiling. All right, take that front hand, lift it to the ceiling. Spinal rotation, mobility and through the spine. Take that front heel, walk it over to that back heel. Set that front leg down. Beautiful glute stretch. You can rest your upper body down on the mat, lay your hands down, lay your head down, whatever you want. I want you to take that back leg forward. Fingertips to the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, reach for that straight leg. All right, your front hand is gonna grab the back of that, your left foot and your left hand is gonna lift. Eye gaze to the ceiling, to the back wall. Final rotation. 
like there's a thousand years left. You don't know. All right, other side, other leg. So I did this, so it's our left leg. Or this way. You can put your hands on the ground. All right, let's lift those fingertips up. All right, take the front hand, lift it to the ceiling. Take that front leg. Walk that heel over to that back hip. Beautiful glute piriformis stretch. Whew, let's just sit in this. Take that back leg, straighten it, fingertips to the ceiling, inhale, exhale, reach nice and long. Your words matter, practice affirmations, you'll be a lot Your words matter, once you speak Take that back hand, lift it to the back wall, eye gaze to the back wall. All right, let's reach for a side, nice and lengthen, side lateral stretching. Language for the better. Just because you fail doesn't mean you're a failure. Let's change the language now and forever. Just because you love and other side doesn't make you lose. Nice long lateral stretch. Let's change the program. Let's reset. My best days are behind me. My best days are ahead. Let's change the program. Come on Let's to all fours, cat cow stretch. Loosen up the spine. I'm the captain of Your my soul. Once you speak Downward facing dog, butt in the air. Heels down, heels down. Stretch out those calves. Walk your fingers to your toes. Interlace your fingers if you can behind you. Drop, chest expansion, posterior chain stretch. I'm stretching out your calf, hamstrings, glutes, back, shoulders, chest, if you're able to interlace your fingers. If not, don't do it. Soft bend in your knee, release your hands, place your hands on top of your thighs, and roll it up. Shoulder, arm rolls back. Soft bend in the elbow, roll through the shoulder, open up and through the chest. And just reach one arm behind you. PNF diagonal stretching. Just take that hip with you, elongating the fascia of your body. Feel the opening. Feel the lengthening. Feel the stretching. Let your fingertips dangle to the ground. Beautiful stretch. Soft bend in your knee. Inhale as you lift. And exhale. We're done, guys. 
487 calories if you stayed with me for the 200 classes. That was my burn. Thank you for coming today. It was a beautiful class. I do live group fitness classes every week. And then I edit these live group fitness classes into 30-minute workouts when you need a shorter workout. Angie, Angie Fitness TV, I will see you next time, guys. Okay. Let me get my ball. You know what? I'm going to show you my cut. You guys, I said, oh, I cut myself. But I did it earlier. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I, if I come up there, if you could see the little, the little cut there. It doesn't seem like much, but when you're barefoot, I was like, ooh, I kept hitting that. I kept hitting that, uh, that cut, and I'm like, oh, crap. I hope I don't get blood everywhere. <laughs> okay, let me lift this up. Okay, guys, let me show you. I got my new camera in, but I don't know that I'm going to be able to keep it because I don't know if I have a microphone import for it. So I'm going to on that. Okay, let me say hi. So I'll show you my new camera. I don't know that I'm going to be able to keep it. I spent a lot of money for it. Um, and not that I don't know if I can keep it because of the money, not that. Uh, because it doesn't have a microphone import. Like my um, old one has a, I'll show you guys. I will show you so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so when you guys, when I'm editing class, right? Okay, I had to move that. When I'm editing class, okay, maybe off. So you know I film live, and then I put it on this camera right here. My little old, good old, trusted and handy Panasonic uh, 770. It does HD, but it doesn't do 4K. Now you're gonna see right in there, I have a microphone port. So, let me see. Right there, I have a mic port, right? So when you're, when you're hearing me um, on my, you know, my recorded videos, it's because I'm using my audio mixer and I'm going into that microphone port. Okay, so this little thing, it's just the upgraded 4K, 2K uh, Panasonic, right? And, you know, it runs eight $900, no big deal. But look, there is no port, no microphone port whatsoever. I have no flipping idea where I am supposed to input uh, my audio mixer so you guys can hear it. So I have got to call my tech company. And here's the thing. This good old handy dandy Panasonic 770 is like eight years old. Like this is the older version and the older technology and it has a microphone port. This one, the way newer technology with a, a, Leica, a Leica video, Leica lens and all that crap, uh, I can't even find a video port, like a microphone port. So I have no idea, guys. I may have to return this and work with something new. So no 4K videos or 2K. I'm still working my handy-dandy Panasonic, but that's OK. It all gets out there, right? So I just had to share that with you. I was like, wow. Enos, hi. Oh, hi, Anna. Oh, from Cairo, Egypt. I was late. I just came back from work. I will do it tomorrow. Looks really good. Hey, Marlo, so glad to be back on the Rebounder. Great class. Well, I'm glad you were here, Marlo. Uh, Marsha, wowzy, love this. Had to do some modifications and wore lighter ankle weights, but finished. The music for Rebounding was so good. <gasps> Thank you, Marsha. That was uh, one of my royalty-free music sites. Beautiful, Marsha. Um, let me see. And Destiny Jewel uh, was on, so I want to say hello to you. Virginia and Christy, I uh, wanted to make sure I said hello to you. And uh, thank you, everybody. Erica, I did say good morning to you. Uh, so I want to say thank you for everybody who came. JD of Love, thanks again for a great class. Well, thank you, JD of Love, for coming. Um, so glad that you came. Um, what else do I have to say? Uh, class is normal next week. We're going to, I am not going anywhere, so we have class next Monday. We have class next Wednesday, 10.30 uh, a.m. Central. So do I have, hey, Nora, beautiful Nora. Thank you, great class. Well, I'm, I'm so glad. You guys, I burned, I told you, 478 calories. That is a beautiful, beautiful class. 
Um, oh, thank you, Marsha. She said the barefoot strength was great. You know what, Marsha? We have not done barefoot just sculpting, like not the cardio part, but just the sculpting by itself in a while. So I should probably tell people about my little ouchy mama cut. So again, remember I was like, oh, you guys saw me doing that little song and dance? Look, I cut myself all right there. That's how I cut myself. That was my ouchy mama moment. Yeah, my feet are dirty because they were on my mat. But um, yeah, so I, w I was outside and um, I cut myself. That's how it ha happened. So, um, so Marsha, can you use your barbell so those of us who have body bars can use them? Yes, I can. Yeah, I can do that next week, no problem. So do I have any takers on any extra special uh, classes? Marsha did say the body bars, the barbells. Can you use your barbells? Marsha, do you mean? Oh, so you can use your body bars. Yes, I can use my barbell. Yes, absolutely, I can do that. Um, yeah, no problem. So anyway, everyone, um, do I have? Okie doke. I got somebody. Okay. I am removing this Haydar Kareem. He is not going to be talking to us. I just hit him off of our channel, you guys. He was uh, uh, that he was kind of weird. Did not like that. So I uh, am deleting his messages. Okay. <laughs> Okie doke. I don't like that sort of thing um, because we're our little group of you know, women and men that do our workout, but we're authentic, we're organic, we're real, we don't like that uh, sort of uh, stuff. So, <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm going to head out. I'm absolutely going to try to figure out if I need to return my new Panasonic recorder because I don't have a microphone input that will work or it doesn't work with an audio mixer. And then I may be shopping around for a different type of camcorder that can meet the needs of the 2K and 4K videos that I am trying to bring to this group. So I have, uh, that is all. So I hope each and every one of you have the best, today is what, Thursday, have the best weekend ever. And I, in my classes, are Monday and Wednesday next week. Monday and Wednesday of next week at 1030 because I am not going anywhere. I'm here. So I will see each and every one of you next week, guys. Bye.